guys, my name is Megan Bell and I'm going to be showing you how I turn two IKEA cabinets into a really beautiful caned credenza. I'm using the Ivar cabinet from IKEA. It is 100% pine, sanded smooth and ready to be stained or painted or left alone as it is because it's beautiful, but I am actually going to paint it today. I'm going to cut out some sections in the doors and put some caning behind it and it's going to be a really beautiful piece of furniture that's going to go in my living room underneath my tv and hide all of our electronics here are a few of my inspirations as you can see these credenzas are priced really really high starting at at least two thousand dollars for what i was looking for this project cost me less than three hundred dollars if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please make sure you do that. I am at Megan Bell Made, and I always post my projects in real time on my stories. As a reminder, all of the products that I'm using today are going to be listed in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The doors come with these wooden bumpers attached, and I went ahead and I removed those. I want to make a cutout in each of my doors, so I'm using a T-square to measure two inches all the way around of each door. I found the best way to make these cuts was to use a circular saw and a hand saw. And I'm going to link a video below that shows you exactly how to do this method from a woman who is really good at explaining it. So if you need a little extra help with it, definitely check that video out. Here I'm just using a sanding block to smooth any imperfections that may have been created when I made my cuts. I wanted to paint everything before I actually assembled the cabinets. So I laid everything out and I'm using Benjamin Moore's White Dove in eggshell. I want to maintain that wood look on the inside of the credenza, so I'm only painting the pieces that are going to be on the exterior of the credenza.
I built both cabinets according to the manufacturer's directions, except I left the doors off in the meantime and I also did not attach the back piece. This is an optional step, but I wanted to leave the back of ours open so that I could easily insert my electronics since that's what I was primarily going to be using this for. For the caning on the doors, I'm using some webbed caning that I bought from a company called VI Cane and Read, and I'll have them linked below for you. The sheet that I'm using is 18 inches wide, which is perfect. I just need to cut it to fit just slightly larger than this rectangle that I've cut in the Ivar door. What a lot of people don't realize about using the cane webbing is that you do need to soak it before you attach it to your item and that is what's going to make the big difference on how it lays later and how it holds up. So I soaked each sheet for about 20 minutes in room temperature water. I'm using a stapler to attach it. This is kind of perfect because I don't have to use any glue and I can attach it at every little joint in the caning. And also once it dries, it gets really nice and tight and flat and you're not gonna have any rippling or waving in your caning. So now I've got both my cabinets built, caning on my doors, and it's time for me to go ahead and join both of my cabinets together so I can create one unit. I decided to screw it together in six different places and after attempting to do it, side by side, I turned it on its side and that made it a little easier for me to drive the screws in. I got these legs on Amazon. They're only four inches tall, so they're the perfect height. So I turned it over and I'm putting the legs on the bottom and I only attached six. I did two on each end and two in the middle. Now I've got all the doors on and the last step is for me to add the shelves. Once everything was assembled, I noticed that there were some little holes that Ivar has probably used to attach them to other cabinets or shelving, um, but I just went ahead and filled them with a little bit of drywall spackling and it dried white to match my paint color perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you on my next project.